Yep. How is it uh, the change coming for you, playing a new position this year, playing a different position? It was challenging at first. Um, and I wasn't quite sure. The stance um, really kind of messed me up. But after taking 100, 100 plus snaps at tackle now, you know, it's just like second nature. And um, I'm enjoying it now. You know, I love the competition. I love the competitiveness that it's given me. I love the adversity that it gives me as well. Along with changing positions, you change the offensive line coaches. Talk a little bit about Coach Wolford, the way if he does things. Is it a lot different from what the way you've done them in the past as far as coaching, or how's that been? Um, I've enjoyed every moment with Coach Wolford and his coaching. Uh, you know, he's not afraid to tell you what's up. He's not afraid to yell at you. He's, he's not going to sugarcoat anything. He's gonna, he told us from day one he's going to coach us like if he was still in the NFL and if we were NFL players. Um, you know, he keeps everything on the books. He, every single missed assignment, everything. He is really technique oriented. He focuses on the little things, uh, things you just would normally miss, and uh, he focuses on those and wants to get those better. And, uh, down to 18 things like hand placement and steps. How hard was it last year? I'm a former offensive line coach, and I know the mentality of play in the offensive line, but, but the offensive line was the only position that really had any experience going into the season. You had a young young quarterback shuffling all, and probably it was unfair. The offensive line was getting blamed, I guess, a lot for the offense. How tough was that last year? Uh, you know, it was, it was different, you know, going through three quarterbacks or whatever it was. Last year, uh, you know, it, it did put a little stress on the team or as far as offensive line wise goes because we didn't know what was really going on. You know, uh, we don't have a guy that we could kind of sit down and be stable with. Um, so we just kind of had to do our best we can. You know, in season we didn't really notice the change, um, but when Jake kind of took over, you know, we we definitely noticed it and uh, we enjoyed the time that we had with him. Um, and we can look forward to this season with them and, and him progressing as a quarterback and him having that experience now to get back out there and get started again. Week one, you've got a tremendous test because NC State's defensive line is ranked one of the tops in the country. They're, they've got a defensive end who's projected to be one of the past ru pass rushers in the country and all. You know, what do you think about the challenge week one of having to go up against that? Um, you know, I'm glad to do it. You know, I haven't really looked at them yet or anything. You know, I've been trying to focus on myself and trying to get stronger. Um, you know, so when we watch, start watching film on him, I'll make my own grades and judgments on him. Um, but, I mean, for him, I wish him the best of the year. Best of luck. What have you done? I know that Coach Muschamp's on physical play, being physical. Have you? What have you done different this year to prepare, I guess, for a more physical type of play? Uh, well, I had wrist surgery, um, and I had to repair a tendon and stuff, so even the physical therapy and not skipping a beat, that was my biggest thing, so I was in the weight room every single day. I was first one in, last one to leave, um, kind of deal, you know, it helped the guys to come back later in the afternoon, do some extra work, make sure I was lifting correctly and, and getting back to my par and then improving from there. How much is it going to help you? I know Jake has said that he's having to learn the call, shall make it the line, with protections and stuff like that. Is that going to make your job easier? Are you glad of that, or what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, experience helps every team. You know, I mean, when you have a freshman quarterback team, it's hard, and the, those that shine as freshmen, uh, good for them, and you know, it's it, it's a good feeling for them. You know, uh, and with experience, though, you know, it brings more plays and changing things up and reformatting certain things and that's a good thing because now he'll understand more and our offense won't be as basic um, as some people say so we're changing things up now and um, let's kind of let's see how the cards roll good luck to you thank you i know you guys on the offensive line